Hello everyone, I'm That One Cat and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about Anthem. I know Anthem might be old news at this point and no one knows what I'm talking about, but Anthem? You mean like the National Anthem? No, I'm talking about that game that's totally not Destiny 2 with mechs. This game has flying in it. Destiny 2 doesn't have flying. At least I don't think it does. Actually, I think it does. You think you have a, you have a jetpack. You can gently float like a butterfly. You can do that, I know. I don't know. This game isn't Warframe with an open world. I'm not making <laughs> I'm not making a really good case for this game, am I? I want to talk about Anthem because I think it's a game that has a lot of potential but was executed very poorly. In my opinion, Anthem is a really fun game and I, I know there's been a lot of negative things said about it, but I can guarantee 80% of the people who bash this game have probably never even played it. Hating on a AAA game is kind of a cliche of the gaming culture at this point. As soon as a new big budget game comes out, everyone jumps on the hate train. Because it's a AAA title, there's no way it could be good because it's a AAA title. The question that I'm going to attempt to address is, can Anthem be saved? And I think it can. Quick side note, most of the negative things I hear about this game are that it's repetitive and has a lack of content, and I just want to say that that's got to be the laziest critique of a video game. Like gaming reviews in general I think are pretty dumb, because gaming is really subjective, but those two criticisms can really be applied to any game. I mean look at some of the biggest games on Twitch, you have Fortnite and League of Legends. Though I do like both these games, you can apply repetitiveness to both. In Fortnite, you drop in, you pick up some weapons, and you try to get that sweet chicken dinner. You might look different each time you do it. Sometimes you look like an orange, sometimes you look like a banana. But it's still the same concept every single time. Repetition is just a part of games. As long as the player finds the repetition fun, I think it's alright. But when that repetition becomes a grind, that's when it's bad. To me, Anthem is pretty fun, and I don't notice the repetition. As far as the lack of content, well, I think that can easily be fixed with patches and updates. What really bothers me about Anthem, and I mean this really drains the fun from the game, is Fort Tarsus. Anthem is a game where you're flying around, shooting stuff, exploring this weird, dangerous world where there's these giant constructs left behind by mysterious gods and whatnot. It's an awesome premise. The mechanics are great. The graphics are beautiful, your javelin feels like it has weight to it, and it's a lot of fun to fly around. Oh okay, cat, this game sounds amazing, so what's the big problem? Well the big problem with this game is the quest hub. Every open world game usually has some central quest hub where you can purchase new equipment, take on new quests, etc. Fort Tarsus is this game's quest hub, but unlike other games where you walk into the quest hub or get a little loading screen into the quest hub, Anthem not only has a separate instance for Fort Tarsus, but it's a completely different play style. Fort Tarsus changes the perspective, the flow, the speed, and the tone. It changes the entire game. If I were to show you the open world segments next to the Fort Tarsus segments, you would think it's an entirely different game. And I think the reason Fort Tarsus is in first person is because if it were in third person perspective, you would see that your character is actually crab walking everywhere because that's how slow it feels. It's so slow. Imagine playing golf, but the entire course is a sand trap. Driving through that would be insanity. Fort Tarsus is such a juxtaposition from the rest of the game, and the environment itself is so lifeless and boring. I'm assuming they wanted this feeling of hope and desperation, because this fort is the last bastion for these people to survive. But instead, it just feels stale and lifeless. The NPCs mostly stay in the same spots all day, and the ones that do have voice lines say the same things over and over. There's this one guy in a corridor that says some of the stupidest stuff like, Does this look infected to you? If you play the game, you know who I'm talking about. Ultimately, going to Fort Tarsus feels like a punishment, so EA executives, if you're watching this, which is highly likely, you need to remove this portion of the game. Maybe make Fort Tarsus a sequence of cinematics and menus? I mean, the voice acting is great, and despite Bioware's mess-ups with Mass Effect Andromeda, I think the faces and animations look really good in this game. But all in all, this segment of the game is such a drag. There's been many times where I'm sitting at my computer and I'm thinking about playing Anthem and flying around, shooting stuff, exploring this really cool world. But then I remember, before I can do any of that fun stuff, I have to slog through the tar pit that is Fort Tarsus. Seriously, the first time I played this game during the open beta, I thought my computer was running slow when I was going through Fort Tarsus. And you can sprint by holding the shift button, but I honestly feel like that's slower. It's like he's moonwalking everywhere. Here's the thing I'm wondering, and if you guys know the answer to this, you can leave it in the comments section. 
but I don't know if eventually something else replaces Fort Tarsus, and this is just for the campaign. Because obviously the campaign ends at some point, and you continue on with endgame content like dungeons, etc. But I've been playing the game for about 6 hours, and the game is still very centralized around Fort Tarsus. I feel like I'm in the fort way more than the open world segment, because the missions seem to end too fast. All in all, I do like Anthem. Of course I have other concerns about the game, but I feel like those are minor and will be fixed over time. But this Fort Tarsus thing is awful. I'm not a game developer by any means, but damn, Fort Tarsus just sucks the fun out of this game for me. Luckily, I'm an optimistic person. I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Unfortunately for Anthem, it's a glass of toilet water. It's, st it's still drinkable. But you probably won't want to. Anyway, I probably won't play Anthem for a while and I'll just hope that these things get fixed. Because honestly, I think it's a game with a lot of potential and could possibly be something greater than it is in its current state. I like the game, I just don't like what it's wearing. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm that one can I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to support my content and get your name on the awesome wall of cats, please check out my Patreon. I also have a free comic on Webtoon called Choose Your Class, and I'd be super grateful if you could check that out as well. I post art on Instagram, and I also say dumb stuff on Twitter, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.